Hi and welcome. This is Hayden from Connect. Thanks for tuning in, guys. So, this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to start to organize some of your data uh, within your tables. Um, this, this is a nice little trick. If you've got lots and lots of data in a table and you find it hard to find, um, this, is, this is how we go about it. So, we've got several tables here. I've got the shipments table, which I'm going to focus on. So, first of all, you select your model here. Once you have that, if you select your table, shipments, what I want to do is I just want to create, for the purpose of this example, a, a subfolder that shows all of the date information. So if I look at the delivery date here, you have a display folder here called dates. So if I rename this dates, hit enter, what you can see is then I now have a subfolder in here. So what else I can do, if I look at the other dates, the order date, I can simply drag that up to there. Same for the shipping date, drag that up to there. Now I've got some columns that talk about the year and month of the order. I want to keep them all tidy and the shipped year month of the order. It didn't quite work. And just lastly on these two volume I've got the cubic meters and kilos so I want to call these volume, volume tape, this volume folder here. And same here. Now if we go back into the data model, show that shipments table, you can see now that I've made this so much easier to find my information within the shipments table. There we go, if I expand that. So you've now got all of your date information here. If I minimize that, minimize that you've just got the other information that I didn't categorize but there you go that's how easy it is to start to organize your data to make reports easier to create for both you and your users thanks for tuning in if you like this video please do hit like please do hit subscribe help a brother out and I'll see you next time thanks goodbye